So I'm going to turn this photo into a selective color photo. Selective color is one of my favorite types of uh, photo editing. I have quite a few of those type of photos on Instagram. Anyways, this photo I took of this uh, toucan in uh, Costa Rica on the Caribbean or Atlantic side. The photo looks pretty well exposed. I like how it looks. There is a few distractions such as my backpack, this sign or part of a sign here, this big sign, and the bicycle here. It looks pretty cool on the bicycle. This is actually the bicycle that I rode to the, to the sanctuary in Costa Rica, but this is a free toucan or a wild toucan that just decided to land on my bicycle. Now, one thing I can do to fix this image is crop it in, but then the handle will look a little bit awkward and you will not get a good idea of the photo. Another thing is with these distractions, I can try to clean it up, but it'll take too long and it won't do a really good job. So the best thing to do is to do selective color. So I'm going to get started with this photo. So I'm going to start with noise and sharpening. So I'll just click on both right here. And then I will click on, let me see here. It's going to automatically apply the noise reduction and the sharpening. And I'm just going to reduce the sharpening a little bit here. Keep it at around 65. That looks good. So now I'm going to click on apply. And that'll just take a second or two to process and apply the noise reduction and sharpening. Okay, great. So that, that's done. So now I'm going to go to the effects panel. I'm going to click on add filter. I'm going to go to the black and white filter. So you can see the entire image is black and white. Now I'm going to go to the mask, go to the region and then select the animal or the toucan here. And then let me see here. I gotta make sure I click on apply, click on animal, click on apply. So that looks pretty good. And I do need to make a little bit of correction to this mask. So I'm gonna go here, make sure I'm on the brush, masking brush, and I'm going to paint it or erase actually here. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm going to erase right here. I know there's a little bit of red feather around here. That looks good. And let me just see the overlay. So I got to paint this away. So I'm going to paint that white right here. Let me just put on the mask again. Paint this white. Looks good. Go to erase, get a little bit of the head here. Whoops, I don't do that. I'm gonna correct it a little bit better. That looks good. One thing I could have done was this automatic edge detection, but that's okay, I don't need it here. And I'm gonna paint this in as well. Whoops, gotta click on erase. And that looks pretty good. So I'll turn off the mask and that's how it looks. I'm gonna zoom out here. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to the back. Decrease the highlights, decrease the shadows a little bit. Let me see if I need to turn or change the black point. Yeah, decrease the black point. And I'll leave the detail at zero. Now I want to make corrections to this toucan or do a little bit of local adjustments. So what I can do is I can copy this mask, click on local adjustments, click on add adjustment, and then right click here and click on paste mask. Now I need to reset this, click on this mask, invert it. So now we can see where it's being impacted. That looks good. And let me just make sure this mask is correct. So I'll blow this up. So great, that looks good. So I'll increase the contrast on the toucan. Let's see here. And let me see if I should add a little bit of vibrance. 
I overcook it with saturation, it's a little bit too much, so I'll keep the saturation around 10. So that looks pretty good. Let me zoom out a bit, zoom back in. And one other adjustment I can do to zone in or zoom in on this toucan is go to the effects panel, click on add filter, and let's find that vignette. Whoops, that's vintage. Where is that vignette? It's right there. Okay, great. So here's the vignette. Here's a subtle, strong, Decrease the size. And that looks great. So I've kept it on strong as the preset for the style. And then I just decreased it a little bit. Let's see the before and after. So before and after. So just with a few basic adjustments using the effects and local panel, as well as some masking, you can easily do select a color to make your image pop. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.